Hey everyone, this is Andrew Hess, and today I was going to create some custom buttons using components in Power Apps. And the reason why you would do this is because you can kind of get some gradients in there. I did kind of learn some things from uh, the book here. I did learn some things from this uh, Microsoft Power Apps cookbook from Ico Mendoza. So I just want to show you some things that I learned um, creating these components and how these properties can be variables. So um, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do when you're in Power Apps and maybe you haven't done components before is you want to check settings. Now, this is just for now. Uh, I'm sure in the future this may be more available. But right now, there is a preview feature here and it's to use components so you can enable components um, for your app. So you will need to have this on. All right, and I believe that may be on by default, but just make sure that that's on. So once you have that on, you can go into components up here and select a new component. So you notice our component is rather big. I'm going to change the size down to 100, 100. So we have a lot uh, smaller component. Now I'm going to create this uh, circle component first. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is rename our component. Just make it uh, something short and easy that you can remember like um, button icon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a button in here and maybe you want to figure out different ways to do this too. Um, feel free. But this is just what my idea was based off reading that book. So we're going to have a border radius here of 100 and we're going to have the width and height, you know, to be pretty large. Let's change it to 80, 80, oh, 80. All right, so we have a, a circle here and it's a button. So right now this is just a button. Um, I'm going to change the the color, the fill, and the hover fill of it. So on our component button icon, we're gonna create some new custom properties. And these are gonna be kind of like variables or properties of our component. So I'm gonna do a new one and I'm gonna say um, button fill. That's what we'll call it. Or no, we'll, we'll call it um, fill color. How about that? And of data type, we're gonna choose color down here. So this is what you're going to select when you put your component in. This will be a property of your component. So we'll have fill color and then we're also going to have a hover color. And it's of type color also. So let's just show how this works. Um, on the button, we're going to put in the hover fill. Instead of this equation, we're going to say the name of our um, component button icon so that's right here the name of our component dot um, hover color and we're gonna go to the fill property and change it to button icon dot uh, fill color so let's just show how this works we're gonna go to our screen and we can insert under custom right here in custom we can choose the button icon right and so for the fill color, we can choose a red. And for the hover color, we can choose like a, a, a green. So now when we press play, we have a red and a green. We can select it. Um, that's basically how it works. Now, what I'm going to do on the component is I'm going to remove the text. And I want to replace it with an icon. So insert an icon. Any icon, it doesn't matter which one it is because we will fix that later on. And we're gonna make this a lot smaller, maybe a 40 by 40. Okay, a smaller icon here. And I'm gonna make sure it's in, the button is in front of it. And we're just gonna do that because I'm gonna make the button clear, I'll make it a little transparent when we select it in the other um, view. So. Under the component, we're going to new custom property and we're going to do um, icon type. And so this is going to be of type text because we're going to write in, you know, icon dot add. Um, I'll show you how that's done. So on icon type, on icon, we're going to choose the icon property and this is going to be replaced with um, 
button icon dot icon type. So let's check it out on our other screen. We now have icon type here. It's now a property of our component. And we can type in, you know, icon dot airplane. And now for our fill, co fill color, I'm going to go to custom and make it a little transparent. I'm going to do the same thing on, on the hover fill. I'm going to make it a little transparent. So now we have a button with a different color um, hover fill and the icon. And we're going to, I'm going to remove that um, border. I don't like that border. So on the button, the border I'm going to say is zero. So no border. So we're going to add this um, shadow in here. Under display, we'll see HTML text. And we're going to make this hopefully a lot bigger with no padding. I'm going to remove all the padding. So I'm removing the padding. And in the HTML text, I'm just going to paste what uh, I got from the book. And it is a circle. We're going to try and fit it right in there so we can see that nice shadow. You see that nice shadow? So now we have a button with a perfect shadow. Um, we want to move the shadow behind. So we're going to reorder a send to the back. We now have a button with an icon that we can change, no border. So pretty much we have one button down, right? So I have one button down. That's something that I learned from the book. Um, I kind of put my own little spin on it. Uh, I do think it's, it's pretty neat. So now let's do the gradient um, button. So I'm going to go to components again, a uh, new component, and we're going to call it, um, rename it to button gradient. All right, so button gradient. Um, the button size will be, I believe it's 160 by 80. And I'm going to insert a button. And let's do a border radius of zero. So we're just creating our own buttons here. Um, I don't like that uh, it's not giving it space. So I'm going to give the size, let's do a 90. Nope, not a height of 90. A width of 170, just to give it a little bit more space. Because we want a shadow behind this button too. All right, so we have a button here. Um, for this one, we're going to make it transparent. So on the fill property of the button, this one here, I'm going to change to a zero because I want it to be transparent. And we are going to insert another HTML text. And this is going to be another gradient. And this is a, a HTML text I prepared for the video. I will put these um, formulas in the comments of the YouTube video. So if you want to check out the properties of the YouTube video, I will put these formulas in there. All right, so I'm just going to paste the formula in here. And we can see it is a button. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And I'm going to try and align the other button to be perfect with it also. So I'm going to zoom in a whole lot. And I'm going to align it. All right, so it's aligned there. Now for the X value, or no, the Y value, we'll do 12. Nope, um, 14. That's 15. There we go. Perfect. And for the width, I'm going to lower it to maybe 157, maybe 156. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. And let's test it out. So we want the button at the top. Let's just test it out. So insert my button gradient. We can see it here. Press play. Um, maybe I'll make it a little bit wider. Just one pixel wider. Oop, that was a lot of pixels wider. There we go, one pixel wider. So now when we test it out and we have our button, we can see it, it hovers over, fits perfectly right on the screen. And we have a little um, shadow too. I like the shadow there. Okay, so we, now we have a button. Um, let's add some, add some variable properties in here. So the new custom property, I'm going to do hover fill again. And the it's going to be of type color. And we're going to click create. 
Now for the gradient, I also want that to be um, a variable, but I did have problems trying to change it to a color. So we're just gonna do text for right now. Uh, you know, if someone else figures it out and you figure out how to, you know, convert the color to a text, I'm sure it's pro uh, possible. I've seen a few different ways, but for now, I'm just gonna do color one of type text. Color two, type text. Color three, type text. And finally, I oh, I have a hover fill. Oh, we're gonna want a button text, you know, just so we can change the text here. All right, so now I'm gonna go to my HTML text. And right here, I have my first color. So I'm gonna back out, do a comma, a double parentheses and um, button gradient dot color one and and then the double text all right so i'm just going to copy this and replace this color with it if i can do it right replace there replace here except for this is color two and this is color three all right so i'm going to go back to my screen and we're going to try it out now, because I made these text values, you have to actually type in. So let's do it at the top here. So color one, RGBA, um, we'll make it red. And this is actually a text. Color two, RGBA, um, zero, 200, 201. And color three, RGBA, 100, 100, 200, one. So now we do have a gradient button here. Uh, the hover fill is a dark blue. Let's change the hover fill on the button, on the component. So the hover fill, we can make it um, orange. And then, so now when we hover over, we didn't fix that part yet. Let's go to the component, the button, on the hover fill, we're gonna replace this with button gradient dot hover fill. And on the button also, we'll do the text button gradient dot button text. So we're just calling the component name and then the component property after that. So if we go back to our screen and we choose orange and we change the text, changed, we can see we now have a fully customizable button with a background. Um, you can select it. It's all one. Um, one thing that was huge, remember, is we could only have 500 controls per um, app before we started seeing performance issues. Now this, all of those, um, controls so we had two here and three here we've now lessened the amount of controls into one control and we have a fully customizable button um, we have a couple here um, so i think that's really neat that we have a couple buttons now that we have for our app um, i do think maybe in the future i may you know put together a bunch of buttons and a component and put it on github and let everybody grab that but for now, while we only have a couple, this is just going to be a video. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, thank you all for watching. Now we can all create our own custom buttons. If you kind of check out Google, you know, I was looking at Google, a lot of gradient buttons, a lot of different type of buttons that people are using. You have a white background here with the, the border, um, different gradient buttons, some with symbols there on the left side. Um, let me know what you create. If you want to um, show me what you create, feel, feel free to let me know. Um, but thank you guys for watching. This was just a video on components and creating your own custom buttons. Thank you all. I'll see you next time.